So you want to start building software as a service, but you have no idea where to start. You don't know what type of apps to build and which ones have been proven to work. Guess what? In this video, I'm going to go in and show you guys how to find the best niches when it comes to software as a service and how to get started. So there's actually three different ways that you can go and tackle this problem that you're having. Well, we're going to start with the first one, which is actually the easiest one finding the online flexors the guys that want to build a developer brand and they're making it easy for us to find out what applications they built and how they work and also to what's their niches i mean this is taboo in the world of niche websites but for whatever reason developers love to share how much money they're making with their software as a service and guess what they're making it easy for us to go in copy what they're doing create their competitors and pretty much take them out of business this happens all the time I don't know why they do this, but yeah. Now I wanna say this, I'm from the old school days. I come from the world of affiliate marketing, creating niche websites, creating blogs, right? Creating microservices. Now everybody calls this a software as a service. I've been doing this for 10 plus years. Guess what? In the world of niche websites, People never share that type of information because getting market research is probably one of the hardest things to do because once you find something that works, you don't want to make it easy for your competition. But again, let's continue. Some of the best places to actually do this and find this is on Twitter. Okay. Go on Twitter X, right? Search for indie hackers, search for building in public, etc. Like there's going to be a bunch of people in here just flexing how much money they're making, what applications they're using, what stacks they're doing. There's a whole bunch of people that go in and share too much. Another place is medium. I have no idea why people do this, right? They go in and tell you exactly what they did, what they built. And at the same time, they don't make a dollar from it. <laughs> they just want to get some clout. Clout, it's something that's crazy. But again, there's so many people that actually go in and build applications and don't tell nobody the, you know, do your own research. This is something that, Hey, if they want to flex, they want to show us why not? Let's go in and find out. So these are the top three places where you're going to find the online flexors. You got indie hackers, the community, you have the medium blogs that people keep on posting to basically rank on Google. And then you have the indie hackers on X. Okay. Social media. Now, another good place is here on YouTube. This is just one of the easiest places to find out what works and what actually you can start building and create the competition for some of these guys. Number two is the marketplaces. So think about it like this. Some of these places are like a mall. Okay. And they allow you to go in and create a store inside of that mall. Which ones are the best marketplaces? Let me know in the comment section if you want to get that full list of the best marketplaces, but I'm going to give you the top ones right here. So in here we have Wix, right? So Wix has millions of users and you can actually go in and create software within Wix to make it easy for people to come in and actually, you know, use their platform, right? Most of these websites are like website builders and CMS websites, but they can't serve every type of business out there in every situation. So you can go in and create something as simple as this. Look, copy products from any URL, product fast, free plan available. So they charging just for this to get the URL and import the data from that URL into the, the store or the website. There's so many different applications in here that constantly keep popping up, right? You can see here the newest apps on Wix. You could also go into the ones that already been around and you could see by the reviews and how many times people have actually downloaded them. So again, there's a lot of different applications in here that you could get ideas and create the competition. Always remember, Remember this guys, you do not have to build things from scratch in a sense of like, Hey, I got to come up with my own idea. No, you find what already works and what people are looking for. That's it. That's the best way to get your customers. If you're trying to rebuild everything or build something from completely from scratch, you're basically going to have to go in and try to find that person, right? To come in and purchase that product. But if you go in and create something that people already searching for or already have a need for, it's much easier for you to go in, spin up an application and start charging for your services. So again, we have Wix. This is one of the best ones. Another one is Shopify. Shopify has been around for over 10 years. I think it's like 14 years, 15 years or more. Okay. Shopify has been around for a long time and their app store has been really 
you know, one of the top ones that's out here that allow developers to go in and make money. I think you can make up to a million dollars and Shopify don't take a dollar from you. Shout out to Shopify, okay? Most of you guys that don't know, those are my people. Shout out to Shopify. Yeah, we make a lot of money with Shopify from my own platform, themes, digital products. Like Shopify is the shit. I'm telling you guys right now, if you're still not working with Shopify, I don't know what you're doing with your life. That's where you're going to make your money, okay? Again, another one that's popping up and it's making a lot of noise right now is Framer. So Framer has plugins that you can go in and create. And again, it's another marketplace. And I'm going to show you guys how much money people are making on this, okay? This is just Framer. This is something new. This isn't like a, a huge platform, but guess what? A lot of people are using it. Those are some of the places. We also have Atlassian, people that create Big Buck. Okay, Jira, etc. This also has another marketplace where you can go in and create applications for this platforms. Look at this checklist for Jira Enterprise Hero Coders. There's a lot of applications in here that you can go in. Timesheet tracking for Jira. Okay, nineteen thousand downloads. You can go in and check it out. Look at this rising stars. They're making it too easy for you. Okay, <laughs> like come on now. If you you're still not going through the marketplaces, I don't know what you're doing. Another one is Service Now. Yes, a lot of people have been asking me about, hey, Joe, what do you think about ServiceNow? ServiceNow is another platform similar to Salesforce that, guess what? A lot of enterprise and, and, and small to medium sized businesses use. So guess what? You can also create applications within ServiceNow, okay? And there's a store for it. Look through here. Whenever you're thinking about creating an application, go in, find the ones that is already working. Stop killing yourself out here, okay? It's not that hard to come up with ideas. Use what already works. So that's number two. Number three, online business exchanges. So let's just say there's a place, a place that looks like heaven, where everybody that has built an application goes in and says, hey, I wanna sell my business. And guess what? Where they share a lot of information about the niche, right? What it is that they actually do and how much they actually make. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> this is like a gold mine for if you want to go in and, and start making software as a service. So let's start with the first one. So the first flip has been around since the beginning of time, right? It's like a 90s website, right? In a sense, right? It's been around for a long time. This is like the original place where people go in and sell their domains, sell their online stores, sell their apps, sell their software as a service. And guess what? You can actually see information about the businesses. How much money are they making? This helps you understand, is this a profitable niche? Is this something that I should be building? You have things like Shopify stores, right? You have, again, I'm showing you guys like the Shopify stores from here. You have your software as a services, right? You have digital services, service business, right? SaaS, again, they're, they're making it easier, right? So you have all of these things in here and you can actually go in and, and look at, you know, how much money they're asking for, how much money they're making on profit, and again, go through this and say, hey, what's the highest price? Show me who's making the most money. Make it easy for me. As you can see, 10 year old full service digital marketing software development company. That's what they have, right? You have other things over here. Uh, 24 year old B2B weather forecasting API platform. Again, this is a, at a different level, $10 million they want for this. But you can find smaller applications in here. And you can see like how much they're making. Shoot, 16,000, 86,000, right? Again, this is crazy. This, this person's making 16,000 per month and wants $4 million. I mean, it must be profitable, okay? So <laughs> yes, definitely you can find a lot of gems in here. So this is flipper.com. Now the next one, which is another gold mine, is acquire.com. In here, you're going to be able to go in and find a whole bunch of different profitable software as a service. And yes, they do give you a lot of information. They could give you more if you sign an NDA, right? I mean, technically, you can't, you know, really use it then at that point. But you could see from a little bit from the outside and see what's working. So let's take a look at a couple of the different software as a service that they have here. So you see here, we have no code form builder plugin for framer. So yes, people are making money with framer already. And 
yeah, they're basically have made like seventy four thousand revenue is eighty two thousand. Their asking price is three hundred thousand. So look at that, right? Pretty much like a year of work that they had, or probably less than that, right? But now they're able to cash out and you know leave with three hundred thousand if they want to go and sell the business. Another one we have here: AI power content repurposing platform. Okay. Then we also have a tool that turns blogs into stunning shareable infographics for marketers, educators, and influencers. Okay, let's continue down the line. Uh, let's see, AI powered brand strategy suite tools, prominent clients like Amazon, Nike, Coca-Cola. So yeah, there's a lot of different ideas in here that you can go in and pretty much take, okay? Nothing is stopping you, okay? This is all public. And again, this is all just free resources that you can use to actually get ideas for your application. Now, this is probably the most important part of this video for anybody that's watching this. Without the knowledge of actually going in and getting your application out there and how to market it, like this information of like what application is popping, which one should you be building, is irrelevant, to be honest with you, because if you don't have distribution, your app is not going nowhere, okay? Now guys, if you want to go in and find out how to do this properly, guess what? I have the Profitable Developer course, where basically I cover every single way that you can make money as a developer with the skills that you have. Monetize your skills, guys. If you're not monetizing your skills, you're basically just going to work for somebody for the rest of your life, okay? We cover everything from freelancing to actually getting local freelance clients, also how to do social media to actually attract new customers, people to come in and sign up to your application. How do you get your apps out there and how do you go in and actually get people to sign up to your services? I'm even covering how to go in and sell digital products. I'm talking about themes, talking about online courses. I'm talking about pretty much everything that you can sell as a digital asset. I'm pretty much giving you all of my strategies, pretty much everything that has made me millions of dollars as a developer independently. So if you want to get access to that, it's two easy ways that you can do it. You could either become a diamond member to codingphase.com, which gives you access to all of my courses, or you can pre-order the course right now for 75% off. It's up to you which one makes sense. Okay. So yeah, guys, definitely check out the links in the description. I'm going to go in and give you guys links to every single thing that I just covered here. So that way you could also check it out yourself and see some opportunities on your own. All right. It's your boy, Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. Take care, guys.